Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethem, and in this video, folks, I am going to be looking at the fish basket, what it does, how to use it. And if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel for more similar content from myself, and why not check out some of my other videos? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. So let's have a look at what you need to get it. So you need to be level 13. Here are the materials that you'll need to build one of these things, so not all that expensive. Now, I have some fish baskets with me. I have tried to do this video a couple of times, but something always cropped up and complicated the situation. So let's see what we can tame with this fish basket. I'm going to try and get a trawler bite. Um, okay, I guess... He wants to go away from it, so they have to be fairly close to the fish basket. But you should be able to tame the trawler bites. Okay, uh, so you might want to build a little taming pen or something of the sort to be able to place the fish basket next to it. And I should remember to have some scuba gear or, in this case, infinite stats to prevent me from drowning. I should have thought of that before I actually started recording, but it's all right. We've sorted the problem out. Okay. Um, just wanted to see if it has any other options, but it does not. So, maybe we might get lucky. No? How about that? All right. Well, I've turned it today because it was dark and it was annoying me, so I'm going to place a lot of these baskets. I'm going to try and put myself in between the basket and the trailer bite and see what happens. He seems a bit stuck. And there we go. So you press E to pick up the basket. So I should have a basket with a trailer bite in my inventory. And as you can see, it does have a spoil timer, so you will want to get your new tame wherever you want to get it really really quick so it's about four minutes for me i'm going to place it here in my space i think you might like a new friend so you click e or press e on the keyboard to use the basket and there we go one tamed trilobite for whatever use this thing will have I suppose it'll be cool to have something like this in your base, but yeah. It's nice that we can tame fish now. Alright, so the next thing I want to tame is a fish. And again, I'm going to be placing down a lot of these baskets, because that seems to be the method that seems to work for me. And maybe we get lucky this time around. Please go in the basket there we go so we have tamed another fish let's have a quick look okay so timers pretty much similar very small timer on the fish basket once it has been used so you will want to get to where you want to drop your fish off mighty quick I think the next things I want to try it on would be the uh, saber tooth salmon and the piranha. See if we can tame some piranhas. Okay, so the trilobite does seem to be wandering. Okay, let's place you down. And there we go. Okay, dokie. So the next one that I'm going to try and tame is a saber tooth salmon. If I get lucky with it, he seems to be happy being around here. Hopefully, there we go. We have one saber tooth salmon. I'm going to go and place this back in Mike's space. I'm sure he's going to enjoy his new friends. And I think the next thing I'm going to be looking at is to tame a piranha. I should have really got flippers for this, but never mind. 
no point in doing it now. So I'm going to go and drop the saber tooth salmon in some water. I have accidentally dropped a saber tooth salmon on the ground. So I did notice it just kind of despawned or fallen into the map or something of the sort. Definitely don't want to do that if you're going to be taming fish because you'll lose your tames. And I think you also lose the basket. But on the other hand, they aren't hard to get as they don't cost a lot of materials. And finally, let's try and tame a piranha. Now, this is going to be a bit more difficult to tame. I have tried this a couple of times. And the piranhas do damage the baskets quite quickly. So, one bite from a piranha will damage the basket. However, as you can see, we can definitely get piranha. So, that's going to be totally cool to have like a little portion of water with a lot of piranhas protecting you. I mean, they aren't very tanky, but... In groups, they do a tremendous amount of damage. So, let's drop off the piranha. This looks quite cool. The other purpose of the basket is you can place it next to a fish that you have already tamed. Wait for it to initialize. Uh, so this will take a couple of seconds. There we go. And you can pick up your fish and move it from one point to the other. So I'm going to go and place it in this corner. And we drop it just like normal. Press E or the use button on console, whichever one that is. I play the game on PC. So for me, it is E. And you drop the fish out of the basket. And seeing as this is the first time that I can actually have a close look at a piranha without being attacked, I am going to do my outro with this wonderful thing in front of me. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And why not check out some of my other helpful videos at the end of this video? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Until next time. Stay safe, folks.